Today you're going to learn how to hack the sticky elements. There are great examples of websites where certain elements are scrollable up until they hit a certain point of the website, then it becomes a fixed element, and that we refer to as a sticky element. Now, unfortunately, Adobe XD does not have that feature, so we're going to have to kind of hack it and fake it in a way. The project I have open here is a pre-designed music app I made, pretty much a copycat of Spotify. So just to show you how to fake the sticky element, off the artboard on the left, I have a header that will appear once you scroll past the green button. So the first step is to bring this onto the artboard like so. I'm going to send it to the back and fix position when, when scrolling. Okay, now let's preview it. So as you can see, it is working. However, the content on the bottom is covering it. So let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and grab this content and the back. Now this is important. Right click, send to back. All right, and let's check that again. Preview, scroll, there you have it, that's beautiful. All right, great, now you have a sticky element. So it will somewhat look like the button becomes sticky as soon as it hits the top. Now, it's not the best looking one, but it gets its job done. Now, I have a second example for a desktop version. Let's go ahead and get out of here. So here I have a second example for a desktop version. Let's say you have some kind of widget on the side, and as soon as you scroll to a certain point on your website, you want it to be sticky. It's the same concept with one extra step. I'll go and show you guys right now. So I want this popular section. I'm going to go ahead and grab it, and I'm going to copy it over. Okay. And I want this placed up here. Now why am I doing this? This section right here is the fold. So let's go ahead and see that in preview. So this is where you're going to want your sticky widget. So you keep scrolling and that's where you're going to see it. Which is why it's all the way up here. Now I'm going to go ahead and fix position. I'm going to go ahead and send it to the back. Alright, let's go ahead and preview that. Oh, let's go ahead and grab this background, send it to the back. Okay, let's try that one more time. And there you have it. Look at that. So there you go. There is your fake sticky element. So this is perfect when you want to show stakeholders or developers what you're trying to accomplish. Now it might not be the exact thing that you're looking for, but this is a great shortcut and a small little hack to accomplish this look. All right, and that's the end of the video. I hope that helped. If any of you guys have a better way of doing it, please let me know. I'm really curious to see how anyone else solved this problem. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time.